Red Rover, Red Rover, can interesting science shit come over? We decided to take a different path because it was more scientifically interesting. But occasionally attracts attention. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hit the button, baby. I'm gonna go ahead and call this video The El Nino Pulse. The El Nino Pulse. My buddy Herm, the Herb, will tell us all about it. Or is it Herb the Herm? We are wild action going on over the El Nino. And uh, I want to talk for, first of all about the, uh, the El Nino been a lot of talk about the El Nino out there. It's like, could it be a super El Nino, Modica El Nino, all kinds of stuff. All right. The thing about it, the El Nino, is if you really look at the data, it's been pulsing. Uh, when it pulses, it really goes down and then it comes back up again. Every time it goes through this pulsing, especially when the pulses are very strong, uh, it really has ripple effect downstream almost immediately uh, across the United States. We had a very negative uh, SY values. We had all the flooding in Dallas and Houston and all those areas and then when it went back positive the heaviest rain started switching back north and everything kind of changed and the heat got out of the east. And now it looks like it's getting ready to uh, crash again. So while the models are trying to say, you know, we got this, um, you know, kind of cool weather coming into the uh, Great Lakes and Northeast and all the rains are gonna switch. I've got a feeling that these models are are not going to handle things very well that when the uh, El Nino pulse happens again the heat come right back into the eastern part of the country and uh, the rains will go right back into where the it back into the central may not be as far south as to Houston although you might have to start worrying about more tropical type of uh, uh, weather coming uh, to parts of Texas and Gulf Coast. But certainly uh, it has to look like the models really don't know what's about to happen when you actually look at the, the data you see the data starting to crash down again out there in the Pacific as the uh, El Nino goes to the next pulse. And you also got, got the MJL uh, floating around out there too, which is also adding on to uh, some of the issues. So. Uh, there's a lot going on, and I really do not feel the models have any idea of uh, what's about to happen. 
Okay. Alright. Now, speaking of the bottles. <laughs> Florida. Bahamas. Tale of Mexico. We got Hurricane Bianca spinning in. We got a dragon growing across America. Though it seems to be tilted towards Hurricane Bianca. And then we got a dragon's head sniffing the New York area. So that's cool. Anyway, my buddy Herb the Herm was saying some cool stuff. I thought you should know. See? Ain't just me. More than one people have noticed Pacific Coast anomalies. Tropical hurricane type storm stuff. And we do have a wild chupacabra El Nino coming through so stay cool stay aware pay attention turn around don't drown and party people you need to get together with your community and figure out flood plans and I mean that on a state and national level and, wow, just look at that, that's magnificent, magnificent, cool. Alright, talk to you soon. Stay cool. Science is like magic and magic tricks. It's much like Hogwarts, the school of wizardry in science craft. Yeah, that's right. Welcome to Asteroid Challenge Fight Club. I wanna go dancing, but I don't wanna go dancing alone. I wanna go dancing.